Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here already, my name is Kathy and today on Tuesday Eats I'm actually doing um, or showing you guys how to make cinnamon roasted sweet potatoes. It's one of like my go-to recipes because honestly it's super easy to make. It takes like less than 30 minutes, um, probably like 35-30 minutes and also like it's a good addition to any meal. If you need a carb, it's an easy and quick addition to any meal and it goes well with any protein and outside of that it's also like a really good snack. So <laughs> that's I want to come on here and show you guys this recipe if you use it or if you like it definitely let me know in the comments it'll be super appreciated and also don't forget to like and subscribe um, that's also always appreciated so without any more talking let's get right into this video first things first we're going to get into our ingredients and the first thing we have are three sweet potatoes and right after that we have one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon up next is 3 8 teaspoon of black pepper. And then we have 3 tablespoons of olive oil or you can use whatever your preferred oil is. The next thing is 3 4 teaspoon of salt. And then the last thing is our 3 tablespoons of honey. Before I get into the instructions, don't forget to um, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Once that's done, you're going to peel your sweet potatoes and then after that you're going to cube them similar to what I'll show you guys in a few seconds um, coming right up just like this this is super satisfying so I figured I'll show it and clearly I was really proud because I kept shaking it on camera once you have your sweet potatoes cubed you're going to mix in your dry and wet ingredients together Clearly I had so much fun putting everything together so I took my time to include that as well. Once you have your ingredients in the bowl, you're going to mix it all together to ensure that it's evenly distributed and there's the same level of consistency throughout the entire mixture. So once you have your mixture completely mixed, you're going to pour it onto your cubed sweet potatoes as I'm doing here. and. I really want my sweet potatoes to be super tasty so I'm making sure that I get every little bit of that mixture into the bowl and onto the sweet potatoes. Once I have the mixture on the sweet potatoes, the next thing that I'm going to do is just toss the sweet potatoes in the mixture and clearly I, again I was having way too much fun because I tossed for a while and then after tossing I actually went in there with my hands to make sure that every single piece of the sweet potatoes got some sort of seasoning and just a lot of that mixture. This will really help it be um, super tasty and ensure that the mixture is evenly distributed across all of the sweet potatoes. After you're done mixing, as I'm doing here, the next thing that you're going to do is simply pour sweet potatoes into your baking rack. Similar to my last video, I also have foil on my baking rack just to ensure that there's no sticking and that um, my sweet potatoes um, cook fast. Again, I'm just making sure that all of the mixture is in there and I have some really tasty sweet potatoes. Once you have your sweet potatoes on or inside your baking rack, the next thing you're going to do is just place them into your preheated oven and you're going to have them in there for about 25 to 30 minutes Definitely taste them to ensure that it's completely cooked or it's roasted to your liking. And once it comes out the oven, it should look something like this. Um, clearly, I had fun and placed some garnish on there to make it look pretty as usual. And then in the next scene, I'm also going to include an image just so you guys see the final product. If you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe, comment, also like. That would be appreciated. And I hope you guys come back to Tuesday Eats with Kathy.